this device here is a power supply and boost converter um, and we've seen things like this on my channel before so I've had a couple of those sort of DPS type um, power supplies uh, one of which I built into a desktop power supply that I use quite often um, but this one uh, is called the XYS3580 so this just came in this box there's no documentation but there is a, a little bit of documentation on the AliExpress site where, where I bought it from um, so you can see that there's some connectors here so we've got the uh, voltage in here we've got the output here this one's got fan cooling built in apparently the fan kicks in when it's working hard so the, the fan's not working all the time like with some of the dps things that we've seen before um but it's a similar sort of idea you know it's meant to fit into a slot you know in a, in a front panel um but it'd be interesting to look at the features of this because one thing that i know that this does that the dps ones don't do is that it's a boost converter so then you can put in maybe 12 volts and i've got a battery here somewhere that i can use for that so put put 12 volts in here and then we can actually crank up a, a greater voltage on the output so let's do that let's put some power on and start to understand what we've got here right so i've got some wires in the vn and uh, v in plus and minus now uh, and i'm going to connect in connect it to a 12 volt battery that i've got here let me just put my wire in there we go a little splash screen comes up so there we go it's a multicolor display we can switch the output on and off with this front panel button And if we turn this, and we get different displays, so that's kind of showing consumption you can see that the input there says 13.3 volts if I keep going there's a kind of graph display here with volts and amps and then here's a sort of detailed control screen a bit like on the DPS modules that we've seen before this one I'm not sure what that does um, but one thing I picked up from the documentation which is quite neat is if we press long press the on off button see what happens is it actually rotates through 90 degrees so you can have the unit that way up if you want uh, so that's quite a nice orientation I think uh, you can have it upside down don't know why would, that would be good but there we go or right the other way up so you could also have it like that that's quite pleasing as well although your hand blocks the controls while you're operating it which is maybe not so clever but if we go in that orientation I think that's quite neat I might think about how I could mount that in a box and use it in that way uh, so uh, I could put some more wires in here and go and find a load we could start uh, drawing current off this thing So I found a power resistor so this is up to 10 watts it's um, 10 ohms 
Uh, so let's connect that up. There we go. So that's reading two watts at the moment. So you'll see there it's it's got CC for constant current. That's because I've adjusted the maximum current to 400 milliamps. So you see it's locked off at 400 milliamps. Uh, and we've got slightly less than 5 volts. So, but I can switch that off. Uh, to use it yet. So if I turn up the current limit eventually it'll go on to constant voltage. 0.8 amps, It's getting a bit warm now. So I increase the uh, current that's allowed through it. ambient temperature here as well. So that's the temperature in here being summer as it is. All right, so that says constant voltage now. So it's not current limiting any longer. We've got over two watts being dissipated through the resistor, which is quite warm. Not too warm for me to put my fingers on yet. So let's have a look at the other displays while this is on. Let's just try and disable that. Okay. Uh, so we've got amp hours and watt hours. So it's measuring the cumulative uh, current and um, power consumption and you see we've got this quite nice little graph here where it plots out the voltage and current in real time so if I take the, the crop clip off You can see that the blue lines drop down to the bottom now. Okay, what else have we got? Oh, this is the detailed control screen, so you can set not only the voltage and the current limit, but we've got these over voltage, over current, and all of these kind of things similar to uh, what's available in those DPS units. I still don't know what that screen is. I'll have to look through the online documentation. But there we go. So we can do current limiting, but I should also show you if I crank up the voltage figure out how to do it again. See we've got 13 coming in from the battery but we can actually turn this up above 13. I'm not sure what the limit is. Oh, 
all the way to 100 volts. That's quite surprising. Uh, but let's say, let's pick 20. So now when we go on, the output voltage is going to be 20 volts. Um, now if I put it on this resistor, it will be too much, I think. Uh, so I probably need to switch on the current limit again. Let's turn this way down. To 50 milliamps, perhaps. Connect that up. And there we go. So now it's set. We've got 0.03 watts, um, but the t the voltage come way down because I've set the current limit to 50 milliamps. So I could start cranking that back up again, couldn't I? I can go up to 10 watts on this resistor. It's 14 watts, that's too much, isn't it? Let's turn that back down a little bit. Oh, I've somehow set the voltage back down to five, haven't I? Uh, anyway, that's very hot. That was just a now. But let's um, let's measure the output voltage. Uh, so crank this back up to twenty. And the output's on. And indeed we are getting 20 volts out of this power supply. So that's pretty useful, I think. I'm going to have to think about uh, what to... Um, to actually do with this, what to build it into, and this is only a first look, and so I don't know all the features of the of the unit yet. But there we are, first look at this XYS 3580 um, buck boost power supply. Very nice.